good morning. Today we're going to talk about, well, another big question. Who am I? Wow. That's a question that sometimes doesn't even come across our minds our whole life. Maybe you'll never or will never find out who we are, but we may find out who we are not. That's also answering another big question. It's not maybe who are we or who am I, but but uh, the deeper question, who am I not? Okay? Life is, remember, a set of choices, a lot of choices. It's not just following orders. It's not just believing in uh, what Mark Passio calls the the... Uh, five boxes that we all live in <clears throat> and if you do then well you're not going to be able to ever find out who you are not okay now if you haven't heard of Mark Passio he's a great guy to go ahead and uh, actually uh, first video go on his YouTube channel Mark Passio P-A-S-S-I-O and uh, watch his natural law lecture it's about six hours long remember you want to learn okay remember the old song Neil Sedaka, 1967, okay? Breaking up is hard to do. We all remember that one. Maybe not a lot of the young bucks. Maybe they do because they've heard it again. But today, nowadays, we'll rewrite that song, change the lyrics, is because it's time to wake up. Waking up is really hard to do. It is. Remember, the five boxes, we'll just go through them. And there's more, actually. But here's number one. Politics, Democrat, Republican. Some type of box that we choose to, to, to pick aside. Remember, what's best for all of us, it's not what is best for just a few of us. Politics, remember, you have to pick sides, divide and conquer. Okay? Religions. Which religion is right? How about there's bits and pieces and golden nuggets in each of them? And another person you may want to look at is Santos Bonacci. They call him Mr. Astro Theology. And it's really good for you to look at his works. He has lots of videos uh, about syncretism. Taking the best of the best of the best out of the religions. And the best of the best of the same things that each religion is saying. It's just in a different context. Bringing it together, there is a relationship to the stars in the heaven, for sure. You'll see astrotheology, studying the stars, okay? But studying the stories, okay, is another big, uh, well, awakening. Okay, so you got politics, you have religion, you also have called the authoritative stories, okay? Lots of stories we've been told. Okay, lots. I'm talking about all the stories that we run our lives by. Okay? All the stories. Okay, and I can name a few. From the Big Bang Theory to the Evolutionary Theory to the Darwinism Theory. Okay? Darwinian Theory. To, well, possibly gravity. Remember, theories. They're all theories. Okay? Possibly about, uh, how about the theory of relativity? Theories. Okay? The theory of, of... Well, a lot of stories. Remember, a lot of stories. I went to medical school, and our book called Guidance Physiology was about this thick. And if you took all the theory out, the hyper-theoretical, okay, then you know what happens? The book's about this thick. That's it. Okay? Whoop, losing my, my holder on the... Okay, so, again... Politics, religion, authoritative stories, okay? These are all boxes. And again, there's many of them. Which boxes do you, well, follow? Okay, what are some other boxes? Remember, the, the not authoritative story, but the box that we live in to go ahead and get educated. That's a box. Okay, we don't really learn how to get creative. We just learn how to be, well, good order takers. Remember, they're boxes. Remember, who are you? Who am I? I'm finding out what I am not. I'm not a slave. I'm not an order taker. Okay? Part of my job on the planet.
planet here, just like everybody's, is to evolve, to become more human. Human. That's the game. Okay? That's the big game. Remember, who am I? I'm an evolutionarist. That's who I am. Okay? And what is that? Well, we all live on this plane, this planet, together. Birds, bees, whales, snails, snakes, the five root races, the blacks, the browns, the whites, the yellows, the reds, all in different areas, all with different gods and different systems and different political systems, different stories and so forth. Okay? So, what do we make of that? How about what's best for everybody that's a guest on this planet? That's an evolutionarist. Okay, remember, do we believe in the box of war, divide and conquer? Do we believe in slavery? Well, you can believe in it all you want, but the truth of the reality is the whole system's slavery, isn't it not? Okay, the monetary system's another box. Do you believe in money? There is no money. There is no spoon, is there? There's just numbers in a bank. That's all there is. Let me give you five numbers to your one dollar you have in the bank, and all of a sudden you got more money, money. You have more of this this uh, box energy. And what? How do you get money? Remember, you got to give up your life. You have to do things you don't want to do. Remember, it's not who you are. It's not. You want to find out who you are? You may want to, well, maybe start doing art, music. Start, start a garden, okay? Start communing with nature. Start doing things that you've never done before and maybe you'll find out maybe who you are a little more than who you've been pushed to be. How to dress, how to act, what kind of car to drive, what hairstyle to get, what kind of food to eat. Remember the, the media is another box, okay? The, the stories that we hear on all the news stations that we believe are the truth. Just because you see it, remember Hollywood is really smart, isn't it? Okay, we go to the movies, we pay money. Best part is we even cry during the movie and we know it's not even real, but we still cry. Wait a minute, how does that work? It tells you possibly what you see on television. We are programmed, social engineering, another box, okay? We're pushed to be how, well, you can say, uh, others want us to be it's one way to put it okay but then again remember there's lots of people that you should go ahead and actually listen to their lectures why it's because they have a lot to say in a good way to be able to help us so we can find out who we are not by finding out the occult the occult what cannot be seen it's not talking about witchcraft Satanism but then again that's there too you know what it's talking about the occult things that bump in the night Okay? Things that you cannot see, hear, or touch. Sort of like the Matrix. Okay? This is not a game. It's a reality. Okay? So, remember, who am I? Again, I'm starting to find out who I am not. That's the first part of finding out who am I. Hmm. That's sort of like a double weird jeopardy, you know? I'm going to really not find out who I am, but I'm going to find out who I am not. And if that's interesting to you, remember, the first thing you have to do is in order to be able to actually find out who you are not is start treating yourself with love, okay? Respect, integrity, morals, okay? Don't just listen to orders and do things that are, you know, that are wrong. Remember, are you working with your heart or are you just working with your mind? And your mind doesn't have emotions. No, it doesn't. Your heart does. Are you feeling, filtering the mind before the mind makes a unemotional decision? And or are you on the other side? Are you all emotions and you don't really have what it takes to have discernment and cunningness? Okay, you need them both. So, you need to really clean up the body. Again, that's why we put together terrain modification. 35 years of of honing down these principles so people can start to find out not so much who they are but who they are not okay cleaning the body you'll find out is is not going to be easy is why is because well we've been poisoned remember but we poisoned ourselves with with mercury fillings with plastic and chlorine and fluoride okay 
no matter where it's coming from, your car exhaust from the Industrial Revolution, from your carpet retardants, okay, fire retardants, from the soaps you're using to the perfumes, to everything and everything that doesn't really make sense, okay, to you right now. Why? It's because, remember, perfumes, the assaults, are everywhere. And so what do you have to do? Deaccumulate. Deaccumulate. How are you going to do that? Again, terrain modification protocols, practices and principles. There's about 50 departments that you need to upgrade, enhance, and optimize. Start slowly. Don't worry. There's a lot to go ahead and actually rebuild, just like in the Matrix. Neo had to be rebuilt. <clears throat> Why? It's because his whole physiology was laying in a, remember the, the, the machines, okay, take energy from the people living in the dream world, okay, the parasites do the same thing that live in our body, they take away our energy, they're energy vampires, and that's why we feel sick and tired and tired of being sick and tired, and a lot of times we won't do anything until it's too late, so again, remember, who am I, let's find out who are, you are not, let's find out uh, who you are not by doing uh, terrain modification. Why? Guess what you're going to see that's going to come out of your intestinal tract. A host of different different types of parasites. I call these demons. They are physical demons that control our minds, mind-controlling parasites. These are in the flesh. These are in the soil. These are in the air. Okay? It's in inevitable to get parasites. Inevitable. Even if you're vegan, schmegan, organic, schmorganic. It's inevitable. Okay? So if that's the case, then what do you got to do? You got to learn how to 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 uh, navigate. Navigate. Not fight. You're not fighting these parasites. You're not fighting the toxicity. No, you're going to navigate it. Remember, you're going to be smart, critical thinking, going to do your homework, or at least you're going to listen to some of the works of some of the other people that have done their homework so you don't have to do it as much. You're not going to learn what Mark Passio knows, but you can learn a few things that actually will shape your mind. Really will shape it. Okay? It'll make you feel sometimes stupid, ignorant, dumb. Why? It's because you're following what everybody else is doing and you see that what most people are doing is incorrect. It is not right. So if that's the case, then what do you do? Maybe change your friends. Remember, philosophy is the most important part. Changes only come because of the ideas, what we get behind philosophy. Okay, so shall it be thought? You gotta think of these things first. You have to put yourself and find out the position of, of you, okay? So, once you sort of see this, then then it's time to navigate you. Okay? And navigating you means that you're going to have to go ahead and actually have, well, you can call them upgrades, enhancements, okay? Optimizations, but I'm going to call it I'm going to call it turbulence because what lives inside you, remember, is going to complain. Remember, you cut your body off from yeast, mold, fungus, candidas, only because you cut them off from their food source. They only live in the body because it's weak, it's demineralized. It doesn't have what it takes to be able to fight off these energy vampires. Okay, this is what it is. It's pretty weird, just like in the Matrix. There's another reality behind the reality that you believe is so real. Okay, remember, there's many boxes here, and parasites is an internal box. Once you have these these parasites inside the body, your mind can never think for itself, is because it's being lived. Remember, the body is, is your machine, and the more polluted it gets, the more dysfunctional it gets, okay? The more dysfunctional it gets, and if it gets dysfunctional, well, then what does it become? Not what you are. It's slow kill, though. You don't even realize that this slow kill, okay, is affecting not only you, but affecting your animals, it's affecting everything. Everything that eats a lot of contaminated foods, degenerative foods like GMOs, okay? Remember, certain foods that cause us to lose our hormones, our testosterone, certain foods that cause us to 
to have high estrogen. These are other boxes. These are physiological boxes. And your hormones, if you're a bodybuilder, you can take certain types of hormones and you will get muscles. You will get more male characteristics. But if we take away those hormones, do you think that bodybuilder or that person that wants muscles, man or woman, woman could take these hormones too and they get muscles too. What happens if we take away the, the hormones that make a lot of, 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 of feelings of you feeling that you're real, okay? The divine will of the body can only be felt when you have your hormones working. If not, you feel no willpower. You're, you're not feeling good. So what do you do? Nothing. Okay, so rebuilding the body is, is changing the fuel supply. It's remineralizing the body. Okay, remember again, who am I? Who am I not is the question you want to ask yourself. Who am I not? And in time, I guarantee you, you will find out who you are not. You will find out that what many people, including yourself, used to do is not going to make any sense for you any longer to do. I used to be a hunter and a fisherman. I killed thousands of animals hunting, thinking it was macho. Okay, Remember, you don't need to kill anything to stay alive. Why do we kill? Why do we, we make things suffer? It's because, remember, that's an old system. Evolution is to, to grow up. Waking up remembers hard to do. It's really hard to do. Okay, so again, Neil Sadaka, rewrite the song. Okay, it's now for consciousness instead of, well, relationships. So the big picture again is who am I? No, the big picture is who am I not? I guarantee you, guarantee you. Okay, forget about your sickness that you have, forget about the things that you do for a living. Forget about the spouse that you may have once you find out that they are part of the slavery program, part of the programs that actually keep us enslaved. Do you want to support them any longer? Maybe not, but that's again, waking up is hard to do, really hard to do. And that means you're gonna have to make navigation, you're gonna have to make changes. If you make changes, then well, turbulence is, well, real turbulence. So, how do you start this, this, who am I not? Start cleaning up the body. Start to upgrade, enhance, and optimize the 50 departments that we have at Earther Academy. Get yourself a non-toxic fuel source. Okay, you can start out your Earthshift kitchen that we have at Earthshift Products. Wholesale Direct, lots of good products for you to be able to make lots of good things for you, including this drink that I have here. This is lemon MSM, uh, magnesium concentrated minerals, silica, a full squeeze lemon, and I also have about uh, 800 milligrams of white willow bark aspirin, and uh, maybe 20 drops of our fulvic acid. Okay, and this is a super, super, super good drink. Okay, so life is again a set of choices. Remember, the body is a liquid machine. So learn how to to terrain, modify it back to more of its original. Okay, uh, sort of like stock options when you came to the planet. Instead of adding on all these devices to your car, which are just a bunch of junk. Okay, you put on all these things on your car, it makes it look like, you know, like a, like a parade uh, car. Take off all those things that don't serve you anymore. And I'm talking body fat, I'm talking heavy metals, I'm talking plastic in your body, I'm talking the programs in your mind that you follow. Okay, again, religion, politics, the money system, they're all real and they're very powerful. Okay, not saying to stop going to church, but your body's your church. You better clean that one up. And in order for you to be able to see where you want to go, remember, you have to find out who you are not and navigate it. If you have to change jobs, you have to mar migrate, then so, so be it. I did. Okay, so you may have problems with relationships. Why? It's because what you find out now is that what your husband or spouse does.
does is not morals, okay? Morally activated. It's not, it's not what you feel should be right just because there's a paycheck and you have comfort. Remember, we all have a certain set of circumstances and dynamics and many of us are in our own prison that we've designed for ourselves. I know many people that have designed a beautiful prison for themselves, okay? Beautiful. And it's not just a physical prison, okay? Owning a lot of things, remember, you're owned by those things. But if you use them for tools, I'm using this truck right now to be able to drive myself, okay, to another part of the island, okay? It's a tool. I'm not using it to run somebody over, destroy something. I'm using it to be able to, to do something I feel that has purpose, okay? So a lot of tools like guns, they can be used for self-defense. Why not? It's a lot of crazy people, okay? Or they can be used to, to take advantage of people, which we see a lot of the current political system doing, taking advantage of, of all species, not just the blacks, not just the whites, not just the Asians, okay? Each layer, you'll find out, uh, has a different form of control. The white people that live in the inner city, inner city, okay? Uh, that we call wealthy, they're controlled by pharmaceuticals, they're controlled by their, their, well, by their doings in the matrix. Most of it is just stealing money, okay? How do you steal money? Well, stock market, okay? The financial bank system. I can name a thousand of them, okay? Things that are not good for the evolution of the people and our evolution of the animals should not be part of our world. Remember, we're guests in this planet. We're guests here. So it's real simple, okay? Who I am not is a destructive being. Who I am not is a person who wants to argue with people over their positions. Their positions because it's their position. It's not all of our positions, and that means that we have to look at it through our heart. Is this good for everybody? May not be. So does that mean that we should do it? Well, really not, okay? And of course there's many variables, but I don't destruct anymore. I don't. Do you think I like doing these videos? I got better things to do. I like to go, hey, maybe go surfing or go kite surf, do whatever. Go maybe uh, play the music. I love playing music. Maybe uh, go for a bike ride, okay? A lot of the researchers you'll here, say the same thing. Do this because we have a moral obligation to help other people see the truth. And the truth's not easy to see. Remember, waking up's really hard to do. Okay, so again, philosophy, and I may say things over and over and over again. It's necessary. When you've already got it, well, that's good. Get other people involved. Okay, and what do you got? You just found out that a lot of things that you used to be are not anymore. So that means you've evolved. Remember, trying to find out the more authentic part of yourself is the beauty okay of of the superconscious life is trying to find out the real authentic part of yourself and that's not being a destructive being that's not living okay in the city it's not that's synthetic synthetic okay remember the whites get controlled with synthetic chemicals, all the different Prozac, Zoloft, Paxil, no wonder you're so depressed people. You're taking Xanax, you're taking all these different pharmaceuticals, okay? And if you live in, that's a ghetto, the white ghetto. It's controlled by different ways. Then you've got yourself the, well, the black ghetto. You've got the Mexican ghetto or the Latino ghetto. You've got yourself the, the Asian ghetto, okay? got yourself the Native American Indian reservation ghetto that's way out there and each of the groups of people are controlled in different ways no matter if they dumb them down with no education you have to have education you must read books you don't have to go to school to get an education in fact I had to unwind most of my education that I did out of school and I paid big money to go ahead and actually go to medical school, go to different colleges, go to places to be able to get information. Well, maybe it wasn't the information I needed, but you know what? At least I know what everybody is learning, which is incorrect information. Incorrect. As an intellect, we believe when we get a degree, an intellect, 
that we're very smart and we are we got a degree we got our degree and now we can go do what we want to do with our degree our intellect and once you find out that really the picture is way bigger and you start to instead of just see that little telescope that you got you're a masters and so and so or you're a so and so neurosurgeon but you don't know anything else but you really know this one little you know this speck of art and of course it's worthy but what happens when you become intellectual that means there's so much to learn an intellectual is using both sides of their brain okay an intellectual is is really looking to see how to evolve the picture evolve the picture okay remember eugenics what does it mean does it mean to kill people it means to make a better group of people okay better genome a better genetics and that's what's going on right now and you can make your own by epigenetics you can make your own uh, life you do have to wake up you do have to make choices you do have to engage and you do have to most likely change everything and what's wrong with that especially if it's better faster quicker and smarter than what you're doing and it doesn't mean it's more expensive okay again philosophy is everything I try to keep these under 30 minutes for philosophy because you got to get it through your head there is light at the end of the tunnel how do you engage <clears throat> okay a little at a time I know so many people that actually think they take care of themselves and their skin is terrible they're still overweight they still haven't haven't learned okay where where the booby traps are in life I don't care if it's the microwave cell transmission that you get from your phone Care if it's living in Wi Fi all the time, care if it's not getting into the sun, okay, or well, having high level endocrine disruptors in your food like glyphosate and natrazine. Remember, navigate, you're not going to change the system. No, you're not. Don't even waste your time. The system is what it is. I've already tried to change the system, all I did was get in trouble, okay. But you can change yourself, you can change it up, and use your own reason. Reason. That's the rep pop part of your brain. Reasonable and logical. Okay? That's the Spock part of your brain. That's the non-emotional part of your brain. Reasonable and logical. Without being emotionally not even suppressed, but but having too much emotions. Because now you're thinking with your emotions, as many people that have no testosterone and they got a lot of estrogen. So you hear of a lot of men turning to women and women turning to men well when you take away testosterone this is what happens everybody becomes emotional okay you see a lot of this unauthentic selves really really coming alive in all the cities remember the men are turning more feminine yes they are you can't see it it's only because maybe you're part of it too and the women well they're losing their testosterone too because these are estrogen mimickers these are endocrine disruptors so what happened? The women get a huge amount of estrogen, and you will get emotional, and you will get sick. Okay? These are all the sicknesses that come with hyper, hyper uh, hormones and not balanced. And the men, let's take away your hormones. I was in the city yesterday, and I couldn't believe how many feminine men I saw. I just don't understand it, but I see it very strongly. Why? Is because it's called chemical neutering. And this is what happens when you eat certain types of foods with certain types of pesticides, drink water out of bottles. I only have things in glass, no plastic. Make your own water. Step up to the plate. Get a steam distiller at Earther Academy. You need to have clean water. Okay? The only way you can get clean water is distilled water. End of story. Again, discretion, discernment. Think reasonable and logical. Do your homework. And you better go ahead and actually be a good researcher or find people that are because there's most of the information on the internet is a lie. It's a, as they say, a ball face lie. It's here to confuse you. It's here to be able to give you stories. Okay? Stories. I don't care if they're religion, politics, history, his story. They're all stories. Remember, all the theories. Okay? Do your homework. And the big theory, okay, like vaccines. Okay, look and see, look it up. Do 25 hours on vaccines. If you are, instead of giving your child a vaccine, how about you're gonna take the vaccine first? Okay, and, and look at the ingredients. Wow, 
Look at what happens when you take chemotherapy. Well, what kind of stuff are they putting in you? Very acidic, acidic, poison. Look at the ingredients, okay? It's up to you <clears throat> to either become your own doctor and don't get sick. Once you get sick, you're in trouble. You're gonna have to go to the authorities, okay? And again, I'm just a student. I'm not an authority, I'm not here to tell you anything. Uh, but some of the things that I've done and some of the logic that you're gonna have to have in the future to navigate yourself Remember, it's all a work in progress. Everybody's uniquely different. Some of us have a mental emotional physical Dysfunction some of us have all of those some of us live in an apartment have ethereal dysfunction Okay, that's called well magnetic dysfunction. I call it magnetic deficiency syndrome MDS Okay you live in an apartment, you got that. Putting cell phones up to your head, living in Wi-Fi all the time, what do you think you have? Look in the mirror and see see what you're, you're not. You're not all that body fat. You're not that person who keeps looking in the mirror and seeing, seeing itself age, can't remember, just doesn't feel good about doing anything anymore. That's not life. Remember, life is to thrive. In order for you to thrive, you do have to clean up. Do you change your oil filters in your car? When's the last time you cleaned your kidneys? When's the last time you cleaned your liver out, your intestines out? When's the last time you cleaned your skin? I'm not talking with soap, with the skin cleaning and rejuvenation and detoxing protocols that we have. Remember, these are 35 years of, of work in progress, okay? Have you ever done a intermittent fast, water fast, a liquid fast, a superfood fast? We have hundreds of videos on YouTube for you to be able to learn from. Learn what you can, when you can, if you can. And when you get serious, come to Earther Academy. We have, again, hundreds of private videos that I've shared with our private group because the information is too sensitive for YouTube. It just is. I'm only showing you what I do. I'm not asking you to do anything. And you should ask your doctor before starting any of these cutting edge, reasonable and logical, uh, protocols, practices, and principles. Again, do you want to become your own doctor? That means that you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to share these ideas with your friends. It's because there is no absolute information. All the information is dynamic, flowing information. And we need to pull it together together. Okay? And, and share the information with each other so we can help each other evolve. Real simple. It now means you're an earther. An earther instead of an earthling destructive remember you've changed from the caterpillar and now you are in this cocoon this is the rebuilding the cocoon the, the caterpillar liquefies itself it reconstitutes its DNA and turns into a butterfly and you can change your stars you can epigenetically change yourself the caterpillar to the butterfly okay is deep symbology in many of the religions and also to change from an earthling to an earther. And that means from a destructive being, a, a being that really knows nothing, okay? That is being taken care of, being watered, fed, powered, even your sewage is cleaned up, okay? It's time for us to, to work in a certain form that would work with everything around us, which would mean we're gonna graduate from destructor the dominator there are no chosen chosen bloodlines either just to throw that in it's an, that's arrogance there is no chosen bloodlines here we're all here as a guest on this planet we're all here to not have dominion on anything okay and you're not supposed to kill anything so if you're in the military guys then why are you going over there is because remember you've lost your emotions you've you've lost your <clears throat> your moral compass because why are you shooting somebody and trying to kill somebody and destroy somebody okay when you don't even know who they are is because someone told you to remember that wake up waking up is going to be really hard to do so if that's the case then change 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 it up do what you feel is right instead of what you're sometimes told to do and maybe think about <clears throat> before you do what you're told to do if if it's the right thing to do Again, that's waking up. And if you can't actually think of that in your head, then you know what? You're living your carnation right now as a destructive being. And you can see that most of the planet is very, 
very destructive upon itself, upon the birds, the bees, the whales, snails, everything, and the biosphere. What are we doing? What in the hell are we doing to ourselves and to everything? Come on, guys. All the information is here for us to live a harmonious, uh, what's called earther lifestyle. Earther lifestyle is to be a reconstitutor, to live with, with the, the uh, companions that live on this planet with us. Remember, we're guests on this planet. The animals, well, maybe they're more uh, seated to say it's their world. It's not ours. So why don't we act accordingly and act like we should and beautify and not not torture things not make things suffer please and when you wake up you'll find out that we've been wrong for many 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 thousands of years it's time to go ahead and change it up and if you don't want to change it up then you know what you're not going to be able to until like i said you clean your body you reconstitute your dna change it up change it from the caterpillar to the butterfly I have. Let me tell you, I'm embarrassed about my old life. I call myself a moron. Many, many years, uh, I did many things that I should not have done. Many years. And I don't even know why I did them. I don't know why. And once you wake up, you find out that you have caused suffering and pain to others, animals. I don't care what it is. People, relationships. And that's where... Uh, I grew up, okay? You grow up to find out that love is the answer. Love. Not domineering scarcity, destruction, okay? No, it's love. And you must love yourself first. So, again, clean the body up. Clean the mind up. And then start practicing with your heart. Practicing with morals. Start to learn from other people that have changed themselves. We're all a work in progress. Yeah, my mind thinks more like the butterfly now, but I'm just learning how to fly, okay? I'm just learning how to fly, which is very, very nice. Is because I don't have to crawl on the ground anymore and destroy things anymore. Okay, it's nice to be able to fly. Yes, it is, and it's a consciousness. It makes you so you can see down, okay? It's like having a, uh, a, a place where you could go ahead and see on the mountain and you can get a good, good view of things. And that's the butterfly consciousness. It's to be able to fly up, look down, and see the dysfunction. And then fly back down, okay, just like in the matrix, we're going in, and see if you can help people that want to start to fly and or want to get their wings, okay? All right, there we go. Aloha, guys. And uh, again, philosophy, change it up. Watch some of these practitioners. There's a lot of good practitioners you can learn from. Okay, a lot. So, uh, Dr. Pompa is another good one for you to learn from. P-O-M-P-A. And uh, there's, like I said, hundreds of really well-rounded people. But then again, there's a lot of people that are that are part of the the well slavery that that make us confused. So be careful on those types of people and those types of organizations and groups and you would not believe the organizations that you will find out that are that are pushing the slavery pushing the the death sentence remember any religion that 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 does promote death is what kind of religion is that it's demonic in my head it's supposed to kill anything remember thou shalt not kill it includes animals that includes anything Okay? There is no better God. In fact, remember, we're all being breathed by the same gods. We're enthusiozines. We're all possessed by many gods. So release the possessions that are demonic within you. And those are the parasitic dem uh, demonic possessions. And, and get some of the better possessions that we have no idea that uh, are available. Okay, So, again, watch our videos. Got lots of videos on on demonic possessions, drinking blood, okay, really stepping up to the earther lifestyle, the supernatural lifestyle. Okay, guys, aloha, and make sure you start it for 180 days and don't quit. You can go up and down here and there, do as as much as you feel you can, when you can, and if you can. Can't do it all, don't worry about it. Okay, if you do some of it, it's way better than doing none. You don't even have to change your diet in the beginning. But then again, if you do, well, 
guess what's going to happen to you? This is going to wake up. Okay? Body can't wake up unless it's not toxic anymore, unless it gets the right minerals, unless the parasites are not controlling your mind. Remember, you're hungry? BS, that's not right. Okay? No, no, you're not hungry, they're hungry. Okay? They tell you when to eat, they tell you when to sleep, they tell you when to have sexuality and what kind of people you're going to like. Okay, remember, these are parasites, the power of parasites. Very powerful. Again, watch our lectures. Okay, guys, aloha. Important reminder, all information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do not recommend the use of mineral deficient foods, drugs, or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein.